Are you serious? Are you serious? There has been a shift in the tectonic plates just off the coast of California, off the coast of Washington State in Oregon, up there in the northwestern portion of the United States of America. Now, the Cascadia uh, is what they're very concerned about, uh, this, this ridge and the potential. Also, the buoys have seen a drop in the uh, levels of the ocean at the certain buoys. This could be caused because of an earthquake already happened or some kind of rogue wave, but they don't think so. They think that the, there's been a shift in the tectonic plate, which is preparing this thing to give. It's about ready to go. Now, here's the report that's coming in. Several different groups are reporting on this. Of course, your mainstream, lamestream media will not touch this with a 10-foot pole. They'll wait till there's 14,000 people dead and $80 billion worth of damage to report that something happened. We've got to just make people aware that if and when, it's not a question if, it's really a question when the Cascadia Ridge gives if you go back to the year 1700 when it did, and literally it wiped, it, would, it was so unbelievable, it wiped out everything up there in, that, up in the northwestern portion of the country. The good news was there wasn't a lot of folks up there back in 1700. I mean, really. Um, here's the situation. A massive earthquake is along the Cascadia subduction zone. It's a 700-mile fault line off the northwest coast of the United States from Northern California to the northern part of Vancouver Island in Canada. This large Cascadia quake uh, ridge would create an earthquake and tsunami that could kill 14,000 people in the region and cause more than $80 billion worth of damage. Now compare that to Katrina that killed 1,500, or excuse me, 1,800 people and $150 billion worth of damage. So we're talking about something here that may not cause as much property damage, but will definitely cause thousands of deaths, loss of life there. Now, the uh, director of the Resilience Institute uh, at Western uh, with a doctorate in structural engineering, uh, uh, Packy Green, and of seismic safety research and field work she has a logical choice to the situation she calls it cascadia rising a report that estimates the deaths the injuries and the destruction from this magnitude earthquake which would probably be around 8.5 to 9.0 very similar to what hit in japan in on march 11 11 which was a 9.0 that created a massive tsunami that brought that literally shook the ground for six minutes and brought inland a massive tsunami six miles inland killing 26,000 people and leaving six uh, nuclear reactors at Fukushima melting down until the Lord returns because it's not going to stop while that was happening and while those things were developing the earth tipped on its axis 4.8 inches and the island of Japan was moved eight feet, according to the satellite GPS system, and it shortened the days by 0.1666 seconds. So when you know this and you understand this situation, you realize that these, uh, the reason people are getting very, very, very intensely concerned about the Cascadia Fault there is the fact that 700 miles northern California to northern Vancouver Island. I'm not saying to anybody up there, panic and just start evacuating. But you need to understand what it's, what is, uh, I understand the New Madrid Fault Line. I understand it. I live on the valley of it, the edge of it here in northern Indiana. I understand that if it hits up in the northern part, I could be looking at a tsunami coming at me from Lake Michigan. All right, I understand. I think the people in St. Louis, Missouri, and Memphis, Tennessee understand that if a major Madrid fault line earthquake hits down in that region, that the Mississippi River is going to change course again and wipe out one or both of those cities. They understand this. And they still live there. 
but they got their eyes wide open, all right? So we want to we want to do our very best to just let you know and mainly because a lot of people are not prepared spiritually. Not been born again, haven't given Jesus Christ their life. You know, last night we had a powerful Sunday night live broadcast. 17 people accepted Christ as their savior online live with us. Right now we have uh, I think we're up to now, uh, uh, unbelievably, but we're up to 79 people have already registered to come to my home church in the middle of nowhere in Knox, Indiana, uh, for three days of glory, which is coming up March 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to be baptizing people all weekend, all three days. It is going to be a powerful time. And folks need to get prepared. You need to get saved. You need to go to a, a local church somewhere, uh, get baptized. Come to my website. I'm giving altar calls every day. People are getting saved. We're having a cyber revival. Folks are coming to Jesus Christ. Or you can actually watch the broadcast live right here on YouTube. I just want you to know that Jesus loves you. Time is running out. Jesus said there would be earthquakes in divers places. There would be wars and rumors of wars. Nation would rise against nation. Kingdom against kingdom. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows earthquakes. In the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, every time there was a spiritual shift, in, uh, there, was a, there was a physical shift by major earthquakes all through the Bible. Not only has happened, but it's prophesied to happen in the end days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are running out of time. Time is running out.